Excel's user interface is teeming with tons of tools to help you out with your spreadsheets. For most users, we'll be frequenting the Home tab because most of the time, everything we need can be found there. Sometimes, we'll find ourselves inside the Insert tab whenever we want to insert elements and charts or the Data tab for tools like Text to Columns, Data Validation, and Data Imports. But there's an underdog to the native family of Excel tabs. It's none other than the View tab. And in this video, we're going to be talking all about it. The View tab clearly explains itself. It may not help you see the light like Rapunzel from Tangled, but it can help you clock out of work earlier, which is kind of the same thing. It provides tools to help you view your Excel spreadsheets in certain ways that make it more conducive for you to work with it, maximizing your efficiency. There are four main groups of tools that are found in the View tab that can prove to be very useful. These are the Workbook Views, Show, Zoom, and Window. If you've got the Developer tab enabled too, you get an option at the end to view your macros. Let's start with the Workbook Views. The Workbook Views give you options that are also found on the bottom right of your status bar. These change how you see your spreadsheet. Normal View displays your spreadsheet as one continuous sheet, which is ideal for editing and working on the spreadsheet. Page Break Views presents the division between the different pages or page breaks of your spreadsheet. The page layout view shows how your spreadsheet should look like if you were to print it out. Next, we can move over to the show group. The show group gives you options to hide and show the formula bar, grid lines, and headings. These are a must know when preparing your reports to be sent to clients or managers whenever you want to create more visually appealing spreadsheets. Note that the ruler is grayed out in the normal view and page break preview since it's mostly used for the page layout view. To the right of that is the Zoom group. This is not a group that talks about the Zoom app, but it gives you quick options on how you want to zoom your spreadsheet. To zoom on your document, you can use the slider on the bottom right or click on the zoom button for a select preset zoom level. To return to the default zoom level, you can quickly go back to 100% zoom level by pressing the 100% in the zoom group. Lastly, you can select a cell you want to look at closely and press the zoom to selection. It automatically zeroes in on your selected cell to 400% zoom. The next group is the very reason why you wouldn't want to leave out using the view tab the next time you use a spreadsheet. These tools give you a huge advantage whether you're trying to analyze a single workbook or multiple. First, we have the new window. Every time you click on the new window button, it gives you a new window of your workbook. This makes tasks like adding in information into lists or cross-referencing between sheets super easy. You can differentiate between the original window and the additional window using the number added next to the file name. Every time you make a change in one window, it changes the main window which in turn reflects on any other windows you're looking at at the same file. What if you're working on a lot of windows? Surely there has to be a quicker way for you to make them all fit on your screen. For that, we can use the Arrange All tool. When you click on the Arrange All tool, it gives you some options. When you've got like four windows open on a laptop, it's probably best if you select Tiled. This arranges your four windows into tiles evenly in an instant. Horizontal will arrange your windows on top of each other. Vertical will arrange them side by side. And Cascade, well, cascades your windows to help you see the file names of each one better. Honestly though, I think it's easier to just go into the task view for that one by pressing the Windows key then tab on a Windows PC. Next up, we have a few tools to help you browse your spreadsheets better. First up, we have everyone's favorite, the freeze panes. Freeze panes allows you to pan across your spreadsheet while rows and columns that you specify stay frozen in place. 
This is really useful because it allows you to retain column or row headings as you pan across your tables. The general rule of freeze panes is that it will freeze all the cells to the top and to the left of the cell that you select. So if we want to freeze the header row, we can simply select cell A2 and it freezes to the topmost row. It doesn't freeze anything to the left because there's nothing to the left of that. To unfreeze the panes, just go back to the freeze panes button we used a while ago and select unfreeze panes. Make sure to note though that when you use freeze panes, you cannot use undo and redo to remove or re-add the freeze pane. In the freeze panes tab, you also get some very neat presets to freeze the top row and the first column. Next, we have the split tool. This works by splitting the spreadsheet into four quadrants, with the center being the active cell when you use the tool. This is a really neat thing to use because it's essentially what we were doing a while ago with Windows. But instead of opening up four space-consuming windows, it simply chops up your spreadsheet that you can pan to wherever you want to view at the same time. Last, but definitely not the least, it's the Switch Windows tool. When you've got multiple Excel windows or multiple Excel files open, instead of using the Alt-Tab shortcut to go through all the open files and apps that you have, you can use the Switch Windows tool and instantly see all the windows and tabs you have open in Excel. And that's your View tab. So next time you're working on a spreadsheet, make sure to stop by the View tab to show these tools some love. As always, if you found this video useful, please don't hesitate to leave us a like so we know that this helped you out. And make sure you're subscribed to Simple Sheets for more Excel and Google Sheets tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.